What's up everyone, this is Blari and I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be unboxing this item that NG Fits sent me. They are an online store from Shopee. They even said thank you and I was like, no, I should be the one thanking you for sending me this product. And I'm just very happy, so yeah. This is actually my first collab ever. And at first I, I couldn't believe it, so, but yeah. This is happening, guys. Ta-da! So here it is, guys. This is ideal for fabric too, which means that it's waterproof. When I open them, I am blown away by how vibrant and saturated the colors are. And I really love it. These are the two colors that really caught my eye. It's very nice. So this is what they look like. And I am so excited to use them. So let's just go ahead and sew our tote bag. So for the tote bag, I measured 14 for the height and 12 for the width. And then I left one inch allowance for the sewing. Oh, and by the way, this fabric is canvas. After marking the fabric, I folded it in half and then I started cutting around it. And then once we are done, let's put it aside and we are now ready to make the strap. For this strap, I measured 25 inches. That's already including the allowance. And then once we're done cutting, we are now ready to sew them together. And uh, well, I was very nervous and excited at the same time because this is my first time sewing a tote bag and um, it's what I'm trying to say is that first times are scary but I kind of know what to do because I've been watching a lot of tutorials and I'm telling you that they are very helpful and I'm kind of proud of this because I'm still new to sewing and I was very happy to see that it was a success and now let's start sewing the straps but before that let's spin them down the thickness of the strap is I think an inch maybe and then I sew them together and look at that! <laughs> yes, I pricked myself, which is very stupid. <laughs> but yeah, let's just sew them together. And we're finally done. And ladies and gentlemen, we are finally here. We are gonna start painting, but before that, we are gonna sketch, you know? Sketch first before painting. You know, safety precautions, because I haven't really worked with acrylic that much. I think this is gonna be my first time practicing the blending and the choosing the right colors and everything is new to me, but I am hoping for the best. Yes, that was another random singing. If you know that song, then we can be friends. And now it's finally time to paint. And I have already chosen the colors that I'm gonna use. And then I tried to open it, but it was pretty difficult. I was having a hard time. So I threatened it with a blade and voila. So I started painting. I did not put any primer, I know. I'm broke. And I also don't know what to buy and where to buy it, so... I think I'm gonna have to do a research for that soon. I started very lightly first and then gradually going darker, but I think with acrylic you can just immediately go to the darks and then you can also work from dark to light or from light to dark depending on however you like it because they're very opaque and you can just cover up your mistakes and you can put highlights unlike in watercolor where you can't put highlights because it's very transparent but with acrylic it's possible but the only thing that I um, you know I didn't really like at first because I wasn't used to it is that it's very thick and you can't use water to um, speed up your painting process and 
it really frustrated me at first but it's also one of its good things because you can slowly build it up and make a lot of changes unlike in watercolor I was really having a hard time doing the nose but I kind of liked how they turned out and since I ended up darkening the nose I darkened the rest of the face which is very good I did not regret doing that I was really happy that I did that and now moving on to the lips which took me about forever <laughs> yeah it took me forever I was really having a hard time but um, I'm gonna fix that later so just see and now let me talk about the product I think it's very affordable for its price the quality is very good and I don't see any problem regarding it they're pretty easy to blend and they're very opaque and they're also very vibrant and saturated <laughs> it doesn't work that way okay I was planning to smudge the white paint on her chin but it wasn't working I, I thought it would work that way but it's not okay so now back to the topic um, as I've said it's very good quality um, also one thing that really surprised me is that the colors in the bottle are exactly what you get when you squeeze the paint out so it's very surprising and it's very satisfying at the same time so if you want to get one for yourself you want to purchase this I'm gonna leave the link below you'll get 30 ml for 12 bottles which is a very good deal and I also want to repay their kindness for sending me this lovely product so if you want to buy one for yourself you can definitely get one from their store and they also have a lot of items in their store so if you're interested to buy they have like acrylics other brands of acrylics palette knives and anything interesting you can find it there and now i am in the most difficult part of the painting process which is painting the clothes because i am having a hard time making the folds appear like they are folds and the shadows and the highlights of the clothes i was really having a hard time doing that but it kind of turned out pretty well in the end but it took me quite a long time and now we're finally on the hair part for the hair i only filled it in with black and then later on i am gonna add in some stray hair and baby hair to make it a little bit more realistic and now i'm just focusing on the minor details and finalizing the piece just a few strokes and we are done Ta-da! I hope you like it guys and we'll see each other in the next video Oh and by the way here are some weird photos of me putting it on <laughs> And yeah, I hope you like it. Thank you very much for watching Bye